Welcome to my lore through of Elden Ring. I have been carefully going through the map of the Lands Between, trying to find all the secrets and all the different storylines. And if this is something that you're interested in and you enjoy, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rodscaden. The link will be in the description. And if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, please subscribe. It helps a lot. And I will be making a lot more of these because I'm just getting started with the game. Having said all of that, Enjoy the video. I think that completes this area. I need to explore this area, although I don't know if this is Storm Storm Veil. We'll check, because I know that there is a, a boost up here. Don't see me. I am in Storm Hell. Storm Hell. Hey! Oh, I didn't really need to use it. <gasps> Potman! This is the entrance to Storm Veil. Well, one of the entrances. Storm Ooh. Yes, please. All right, big guy. Hello. Oh! Huh. Okay. Didn't expect the weak foe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, there's a lot of dead. Again, I have mentioned this before, but I... I just love environmental stories, so I'm guessing these guys were all trying to cross, but that big guy was put there to stop them. But these all seem to- they're all dressed like nobles. Noble scholars. Maybe they're from Rhea Luc Lucaria. Because I think the guy that we meet that is from Rhea Lucaria is dressed like that as well. Oh yeah. There's me- Oh, hello there! You're the only one who's playing music! Oh dear. You might- I- Tell me, Zoe. Uh, are you here as a customer? Hmm. Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. That's all right. You had what I needed. Flower grounds in toxic terrain, dripping with deep green poisonous liquid. Poison bloom. Fulgur bloom. Yellow flower that grows in lightning struck lands, imbued with traces of lightning essence. The Shamshir, curved sword. With thin blade of ample length, light of weight despite its larger size. Its slicing attacks come in rapid succession. Uh, a devastatingly powerful weapon in the hands of a skilled swordsman. We got this from the thing. A cloth doll depicting a dancer garbed in blue, an ancient heirloom of some sort. Raises attack power with lower equipment load. <laughs> That's the opposite of the... No, that is exactly the same... Uh, the dancer in blue represents a fairy who, in legend, bestowed a flowing sword to a blind swordsman. Blade in hand, the swordsman sealed away an ancient god. A god that was wrought itself. Is that from any Dark Souls? A work of a wandering artist, reminiscence of a painting titled Homing Instinct. This painter is said to have captured the landscape seen within the last moments of those welcomed into de death's embrace. The soul of the painter, vestiges of the dead's last moments, can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. So, beware of the fire monk's chariots bearing the faces of giants. Well-aimed blow to the chimney on top may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare indeed. Oh yeah, we heard screaming coming from here. Oh, please don't tell me it's someone on a... Mangy dog. Why was I hearing screams from up here? Yeah, the screams were coming from up here. Were they implying that they were putting these people up? Nope. Oh! Skelly boys! Big skelly boys. I was being very careless. <laughs> I was being very- I was just smashing the button. Technically don't need to fight the dude. Oh, what if- actually, this guy was acting different. Uh, not from the last time we fought him, but from the other guys like him that we- What if this was his group, and they all died, so he's- that's why he's hitting himself, because the other one wasn't doing that. The other one was not hitting himself. This is our last area in Limgrave. Summon water village. I guess they did summon the water. Interesting, interesting. Maybe I'll explore some of the buildings while the boat is going about. 
There's a lot of these things. Are they just roots? They don't seem to be just roots. Are they the octopuses? Seems like it could be. But there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them here. I wonder what happened to this town. Yeah, these are definitely not tree roots. All right, bow person. Death the root. Oh, uh, these are the spirits of militiamen who live in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with death root. Death root. First, it gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found at bestial sanctum in distant east collects and de devours these roots oh we know we went there on the night of the dire plot of the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod later the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree sprouting in the form of death root. Oh, so there's a great tree that is not the Erd tree. And maybe those are the roots we see in the catacombs. Maybe that's what's bringing back to life some of these things, or maybe that's what the bosses are protecting in the catacombs, which could be really interesting if that is the case. But yeah, I guess these are death roots. That's what they are. Oh, we, we also have to explore this area. It possibly is the place where we need to go to for the picture. Oh, no, it's right here. Right here. There we go. Incantation scarab. Fragment of bone with dun mottling. Found by hunting those who live in death. Lamentably brittle. It crumbles at the lightest caress. An arcane butterfly with translucent wings. This butterfly appears to as if it's just emerged from the cocoon for its entire life. It's beautiful. Golden scarab worn directly on the head. <laughs> These scarabs roll clumps of incantations. Slightly reduces the FP cost of incantations, but increases damage taken. As a scarab approaches death, it abandons its rolled treasure and stretches its wing wide for the long journey to its home nest. Aw, kinda have to wear at least for a moment. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is not how I expected him to wear it. Oh, it's, <laughs> it moves. Can I jump? God ahead. Seek jumping off. Make sure before you jump off, always remember, do everything you can before jumping off. That is the rule of exploration. Another cool thing, think about all the water and stuff that we were talking about earlier too, is that there is a whole city underneath this city. So there could also be a thing where that was something completely different in like a city below, because these could be parts of like the ancient civilizations of this region. There we go. Ooh, hello. You're cool. He's like an elf. Yo. He's like an old elf. That's cool. That is interesting. I'm, I'm kind of sad I had to kill him. I even tried walking up to him, but but that is really cool with the with the elf. I've never seen an elf in these games, so I don't think there's ever been an elf in a FromSoft game. Hey, hey, yo, leave me alone. Yeah, even his design, he had golden writing all over it. Behold, an underground tomb. Ooh, is this gonna be related to the elf? Area. That's cool. 
I was wondering how you get up here. Ooh, can I light this? <laughs> Too aggressive. Oh, and look at his belt. Full of runes. Oh, it's writing. It's not just golden random stuff, it's writing. That is really interesting. You know what he looks like, too? He looks like an up version of elves from the N64 Zeldas. As if you got that same art style and the same kind of look and up it. With like the very sharp features. More so even than most elves. Maybe it's because he's like super thin. But yeah, I think that's it for Limgrave. I think we're good in regards to Limgrave now. Now it will be on to the next area. And I think it will be, I think I will be going south. Like it surprised me that there was a goal southward. Ever goal. I was recently informed that goal, spelled like that, is jail. I think I might have mentioned that before. I think I might take on the challenge. That would be an interesting way to finish it off. The guy who destroyed us at the beginning. Forlorn Hound. Let's do it. What's this? <gasps> yes, please. I'll take it. Slotting in a cell is no true justice. Oh, he's the guy. No. This is where it ends for you. Oh, he was a wolf, too! Oh... He was a wolf. That's cool. Oh, he's here! He's so cool! You're so cool, dude! <laughs> I love you! You're awesome! I'm a fan! I'm a fan! <laughs> Let me look at your face closely. Okay, I thought for some reason that, that like, that skin patch, it's just Scar. But I thought that it would be... It was like he was human, too. Because he is a half-wolf. Well, this is really cool. <sighs> right. There you are. Had to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. You're your prize. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. It's cool. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Oh, I hope I see you again, dude. It's cool. And I'll definitely, before I ever do a, an ever goal, I will be sure to always be looking for someone to talk to or someone to aid, because I feel like there's probably always going to be some sort of storyline around it. I think most of them are. <laughs> Slumbering egg. Material used for crafting. Okay. Owl eggs that will never. Aw. Prized as a symbol of most sublime slumber. I wonder if the if the guy is also gone from here. Oh no, he's still here. Does he say anything else? Beautiful work. Felling that dragon. And as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church. On the little island off the western coast. Yeah, I did not check this area. Oh! <laughs> there it is. Trumpet man! He's gonna trumpet you to death! With his little trumpet man! Trumpet man. He was the hero of his people. He had no chance. Trumpet man. Poor trumpet man. He didn't deserve it. I feel like this is gonna be kind of easy. Like, I don't think these guys attack. Do these guys attack? Oh, they have to work. Do I need to take out the big guy? Can I just... Hey! I guess they don't have much mobility. Poor guys. Oh, they put... I'm glad they put, like, golden things where you're supposed to do the... Well, it might be better. I feel like these guys have probably suffered enough. These guys kind of feel bad for them. They, they're impaled through the center. I was gonna say, it, it wasn't letting me, but... Great axe. Cool, cool. Interesting, interesting. I haven't really explored this area either. So we can do this right now. Oh yeah, there's the plants over there too. And I didn't really mess with. <gasps> Trumpet man! 
He is the cliff trumpet man. Trumpeting his life away with a gold pickle chicken foot. Yeah, I don't want to wear that. I don't want to be a trumpet man. Ugh. I kind of want to deal with these plants. Am I too greedy to want to suddenly do all the things I didn't do? Okay. All right, plant. Okay, okay. Okay, th this might have been a mistake. Oh, it's gonna roll, isn't it? Oh. It's still, yep. Miranda powder, material used for crafting pollen from a man-eating Miranda flower. Throughout history, perfumers have prized this extremely fa fragrant form of Miranda pollen. Not yet scattered into the air. Maybe that'll be our next order of business. We're gonna make some perfume. I would actually, I was gonna joke, imagine if you could do that. I would, I would love a game where you could do that. Okay, this is the ultimate challenge. I'm poisoned. Oh, one of you guys. Oh, he knows. What a cap. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, as a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Sure. I want to learn. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. I like your hat. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle, or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. <laughs> okay, give a scroll. Give royal house scroll. Is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. I wonder if you will move to to the hold. Oh, some of these are like the classics. This is really cool. Nice lady. I really enjoyed your your keep here. I think you might need to move now though. Uh sorry about your room. Young apprentice. First things first. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Infantile. Mm -hmm. Without the legs to walk. Okay. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Okay. Now, shall we start learning? She's cool. Thanks, lady. Destroy her priceless curios and crystal. <laughs> yeah, I'm your apprentice. She's like, well, she can't really see what you're doing. It's kind of like putting, if you ever played Skyrim, it's kind of like putting a bucket on their head. They don't see anything. That's what we kind of just did there. We just put a bucket on her head. She was kind of born with a bucket on her head. And <laughs> not saying. <laughs> don't you dare. I'm going for the dung beetle. We're waiting your turn. I will now proceed with your scheduled appointment. <gasps> Determination? Is that a Undertale reference? Now I think we can properly end stream. Uh, I feel now that I've at least completed everything to my knowledge. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I will be back. I hope you guys have a good night or a good day, depending where you are. And goodbye.